Hey guys, so today I want to talk about winter sowing flower seeds. Uh, this will be the third year that I am winter sowing my flower seeds. And so I am getting ready to do that either the last weekend of January or the first weekend of February. So typically I aim to do my winter sowing around Groundhog's Day. And that seems to work well for me in uh, Zone 6B, New Jersey. And last year I had the most winter sowing that I've done. Um, and I did probably close to 40 containers, maybe a slightly more. And I was really gung ho to, you know, share with all my neighbors and get tons and tons of flowers. Um, but it got overwhelming for me. And that's because I up potted a lot of my seedlings and um, I did that obviously to try and um, make them grow bigger in pots and then give them away to my neighbors. I want to be a little bit more selective about what I am growing and it's mostly going to be for my garden. If I have extras, then I will give them away, but otherwise that's not my goal this year. So this year I plan on just taking my seedlings straight from the winter sowing containers and into the garden and not up potting them. And really that is how winter sowing is typically done. You take the uh, seedlings that are in your container and then you put them straight into the garden. So that's my plan for this year. That's actually what I did the first year and it worked really well. So I ordered seeds from Johnny's. Uh, I have gotten those already. And I also placed an order with Baker's Creek recently. And I'll tell you what I ordered, but I haven't received those yet. Here's everything that I have so far that I plan on winter sowing. And then I have my order uh, from Baker's Creek. I collected some seeds from my columbine uh, in the garden, which is a black columbine and I loved it. Um, it did self seed, but because we ended up taking out that big pine tree and redoing that bed. So I don't think any of the seedlings made it. And so at least I have a few more and I want to winter sow these. I also have this Columbine Ruby Port and I winter sowed this last year, but I didn't get any seedlings on this one. So I'm hoping that this year will be better. Next one is Columbine uh, Nora Barlow. And one of the seedlings from a winter sowing did make it and I should be seeing it bloom uh, this coming season. Then I ordered uh, two status. Uh, so this will be the first year I'm trying these. And I got the QIS Apricot and the Seeker Pastel Blue. And so I'm really excited to try these. I also ordered a Larkspur and this one is QIS Dark Blue. I got a Scabiosa called Black Knight and uh, the Larkspur and the Scabiosa are also first time for me trying these. Uh, then last year I had winter sown my um, straw flowers and they did really well. Those performed the entire season well into frosts and cold and they were still alive in November. Um, so I'm going to, I have a few seeds left of my silvery rose and the apricot peach mix. So I'll be doing those again. I also ordered a uh, fever few first time uh, for me to grow these and I got the Magic Lime Green. And then I also ordered Dara and once again, brand new one for me this year, but I, I have seen it a lot and um, in, in other people's videos and it just looks so beautiful as a filler, um, very frilly. So I want to try that one. I'm going to try again this brown, brown Eyed Susan that I got um, it, I don't know what happened to it. I, either the rabbits ate it, snails, slugs, I don't know. Um, I took it, I chunked it up and put it into the garden and I didn't get any. So we'll see, we'll try it again. I am going to try lavender again. Now lavender did work perfect for me the first time I winter sowed. This second time around, it did work and I had a ton of seedlings, 
but then somehow a lot of them died and I, I'm not sure what happened. There's only one survivor in the garden. I found it this fall, looks great. Um, but I'm going to do it again. So I have a burpee uh, lavender, which is Lady, and I have some seeds left from Johnny's from last year's order, which is the Elegance Purple. So I'll try both. Then I am doing the Snapdragons again. So these worked pretty well. They bloomed late for me. They did not bloom um, early enough. That I think that had to do with me transplanting them and doing all of that jazz and not doing that again. Um, but uh, I'm going to put them straight in the ground. So these didn't bloom until the weather got cooler and then they grew and looked beautiful. So uh, these are the Snapdragon First Lady mixed color. And then I also got some uh, Snapdragons from Brampton Gardener. So she was doing a seed giveaway and I won the mixed color Snapdragons. I'm really excited to uh, winter sow these and I'll put them in a separate container just so that I keep track of which, which ones these are. And uh, if you haven't seen Brampton Gardener, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Um, check out her channel. She's got a beautiful garden, grows beautiful flowers, uh, and she's up in Canada. So she's definitely colder than I am, and uh, hopefully these seeds do really well for me. So in my past winter sewing, I have done foxgloves and I'm going to do it again. So foxglove is a biannual and first year, all you will get is the foliage. All the leaves come out and then not until the following year, then you get the flowers. So the first year that I winter sewed them, all I saw was green leaves. Then last year, this, this last season, um, I had these beautiful spikes of flowers. Um, but I also winter sewed last year and put the babies all around. Um, so I had a bunch of uh, backups growing. So my plan is like every year to winter sew them, get a bunch of them that are going to have leaves the one year, but flower the next year. But so that way every year I have something that's flowering. Um, so the two that I'm going to be doing is I have a few seeds left from a uh, florette that I got two years ago. So I don't know, um, this will be the third year I think I have this packet. So hopefully they'll do well, but these are the apricot beauty and these are the ones that flowered this past year and they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, but the other ones I got last year was the Foxglove Dalmatian Peach. And uh, they look kind of similar to that Apricot Beauty. So um, hopefully you really won't be able to tell the difference between them. And um, just gorgeous, beautiful um, pink flowers. So Calendula is one that I've done uh, both years, both winter sewing years, and they work really, really well for winter sewing. Um, matter of fact, the Calendula did self seed, I believe, out in my garden. Um, so I'm assuming that maybe I may not need these uh, winter sewn, but uh, I figured I'd do it anyway. So I have one, which is the cantaloupe mix. And I got these a while ago. Um, they are beautiful. I, I only got the orangey color ones, um, but I will be do, trying these again. And then the other one that I really, really loved was the Calendula Ivory Princess. So that's the other one I'm going to winter. So again, I think it may have self-seeded also, um, but just in case I wanna be sure I have them in my garden this coming year. I also ordered from Johnny's a yarrow, and this is Favorite Berries. Um, the yarrow that I had in my yard, I, I just didn't, it just didn't do well. It didn't perform. I had divided the plant, and the ones that I gave to my mom in her yard, they were just huge and flowered and looked beautiful. So I don't know what is happening in my yard that they are not they're just not growing um so i figured let me try a different type and perhaps for me this one might work especially if i winter sew it so i'm going to give these a try and these are a beautiful pastel -y color um so i don't know hopefully it works my tried and true is rose campion and so i am going to winter sew uh the last few seeds that i have 
And this is just uh, a, a big performer for me. Um, it's another one that in the first year, all you will see is the green leaves. And then it won't flower until the following year. And then after it flowers, it's done. So you have to continue that cycle. So that's why I winter sow these every single year now. Now they do self seed for me prolifically. So um, I probably will be finding seedlings all over the place. But what I do is I just, you know, dig them out, transplant them to where I want them and they survive the transplant perfectly fine. Um, so I have no issues with that, but I always winter sow them to make sure that I'm going to have um, some in my garden every year. And then the last ones that I am still debating on whether or not I'm going to winter sow as well is the Radecchia Sahara. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I don't want to overwhelm myself with too many containers. So that's one is possibly might get nixed. And then the last one is alyssum. And the only reason why I'm debating on the winter sowing of the alyssum is that I actually grew the seeds right on my deck um, on a little, you know, a little uh, takeout container and then just chunked it up and transplanted it into my garden and it flowered. The only thing is it didn't flower until late in the season, um, you know, but I don't mind that. And uh, so, yeah, so this one is, is whether I do winter sowing or I do it later in the early spring. Then for what I ordered from Baker's Creek, um, I got two different types of Cosmos. I got a Xanthos Cosmo and an Apricot Lemonade. Now the Apricot Lemonade I have actually done before and it was gorgeous. Um, so I wanted to try that one again. Um, and I also got some, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this. I'll put the name up, but it's a chamomile. And that one, I am making sure that it's going to be protected from the deer and the rabbits. Um, that's another thing this year is a lot of fencing will be going up. Uh, I got the pink Senorita uh, Zinnia. And that one looks beautiful like a cactus. It kind of reminds me of the Cactus Dahlia, the Penhill Watermelon. So I really want to try that one. I hope it, it looks great when it grows in my garden. And the last one is the Navajo Sunset Agastache. Now that one is iffy whether or not I'm going to actually winter sow it or I'm going to save it for next year um, up in the air, but uh, I want to possibly give that a try. I do plan on recording uh, the actual um, planting of the seeds this year and but if you want to see um the actual process i have a video up from last year and i'll uh, put a link to that video below and uh, if you have any questions uh, about winter sowing flower seeds or anything that i have done um why don't you drop a comment below and let me know and i'll try to answer all the questions but if you want to follow me on my facebook page i hope to be able to put up some photos um as the time progresses rather than waiting for the reveal and then I will also um, post some pictures on the community tab so take a look there so don't forget to hit that like button and if you're not already subscribed why don't you do so and uh, I'll see you in the next video where I start my winter sewing